Well, I'm done. I am done my 30 day renewal. And let me tell you, I've learned a lot. I lost a little bit of weight. I feel really good. But the biggest transformation came from opening my eyes to the fact that I really, really want to lose the weight that I've put on over the past few years. And I really, really get a lot of pleasure from eating good food and drinking good wine. And having a high desire for both of those things is not helping. Hi, I'm Kelsey Matheson, and I've struggled with my own weight loss journey over the past couple of years. And in a way that I've, I've never struggled with my weight before. Look, you know, I've been dealing with hormonal changes. I'm getting older. I, you know, my stress and anxiety levels have been super high over the past few years. I've been dealing with depression on and off. And I felt that any program that I started just really hasn't worked for me. But let me tell you, the last 30 days has taught me a lot. When you have a high desire to lose weight, coupled with a high desire for food, those other issues that I just listed, they're not the problem. I finished my 30 day renewal yesterday. And truthfully, I do feel good. I feel really great. Um, but I am going to continue on this journey to reach my goals because I still have a ways to go. Uh, and, uh, and look, this, this last month has been awesome but mostly because I realized how powerful and ingrained into my subconscious this programming is of wanting to, to lose weight so much, but also really wanting to eat and drink really good things, <laughs> right? So this is a great realization to have, but now what? Well, now I need to address the high desire for food and, and wine because my brain is literally sending me signal, signals subconsciously that I need those things to survive, right? And you might hear that and think, well, yeah, hello, Kelsey, you do need food to survive. And you're right, as humans, uh, we need oxygen, we need food, we need water to survive. But statistics show that obesity in the US was 42.4% uh, 42 in 2017 and 2018. And apparently the consumption of junk food and alcohol skyrocketed during the pandemic. So I could just imagine what those numbers are now. So my next step is to come at this weight loss journey from another perspective. And my plan is to look at this using what's called the 4C formula. Now you may or may not have heard about this before. I learned about the 4C formula from Dan Sullivan, who's the founder of Strategic Coach alongside his partner, Bab Smith. And Dan and Bab teach that every breakthrough starts with commitment. That's the first C of the 4C formula. Right, that's the easy part. I love making commitments. I love setting goals for myself. Right, that's the fun and the exciting part. But the problem is, as humans, we don't stick to those commitments because our brains are wired to be averse to change. So the second C in the 4C formula is courage. Now, this is typically where everything falls apart. <laughs> so we must have enough courage to stick with the plan and experience all the scary and all the painful feelings related to the change that we're making, right? So this is the stage when all the excuses come out. I'm not disciplined enough. I'm not capable enough. This program doesn't work for me. This is too hard. This is too scary. Oh, I've already tried that. And then you start to feel shame and fear and anger and deprivation. So this is when people will quit or procrastinate. So here's the crazy part to all of this. It's normal. This resistance and fear and making all the excuses is normal. Actually, I talked about it in last week's video. It's totally normal for our brains to resist. So the trick is to anticipate the resistance and understand that going through this, this stage of courage is gonna suck. <laughs> it's gonna be uncomfortable. It's not gonna be fun. But if you want to experience a breakthrough and create massive change in your life, then it's necessary. So if you want that breakthrough, you're going to have to do hard things. Because when you find that courage and move forward with the crappy feelings and with the scary discomfort, and you manage your mindset, then you create the third C, which is capability. 
because you have capability because you've you've created a new skill set and and new neural pathways in the brain to get through the discomfort right doing hard things leads to growth and developing new capabilities leads to the fourth c which is confidence and we all want that right we want to feel confident and this is where you believe in yourself you trust in your abilities and you literally create evidence that you can do hard things. So I'm going to implement the 4C formula as I dive into my relationship with food and the high desire I currently have for it. Um, I really didn't think it's, it was as high as, uh, as I'm realizing it is. And, I, and I, look, I can easily tell myself, but I love good food, I love good wine. You know, it's an art form. It makes me happy, <laughs> right? Why would I deprive myself of the finer things in life? Look, all the excuses all day long, I can tell myself. But the truth is that that desire is getting in the way of my desire to get healthier and to lose this weight that I really want to lose. So basically, I have two options. Either I reduce my desire to get healthier and lose the weight or I reduce my desire to eat and drink certain things because I can't strongly desire both if I want to achieve this goal. So I'm committing to losing the weight that I've gained and I'm committing to reducing my desire for foods that are not serving me. And you might be like, wait, that's not possible. It totally is and I'll talk about that in future videos. So the next step for me is to work through the courage state and anticipate that it's not gonna feel very good and anticipate that it's going to be uncomfortable and I just need to embrace it. Otherwise, I, I won't achieve this desired outcome. So <clears throat> even though my 30-day renewal may be over, I'm, I'm moving forward on this journey and I hope that you'll be with me every step of the way. Look, it might not be pretty, but one thing I know for sure is that it'll be interesting. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Uh, please let me know what your goals are that you're working on right now in the comments. Look, we can do hard things. Let's do them together. All right, I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.